talk to small businesses they already know how to their business how to run their business on the digital platforms so be it your facebook be it your google everything is happening on small scale on very less scale in terms of monetary uh, dispensation and they are running their businesses very effectively the idea is to bring those businesses on doh and offer them cost effective solutions good advertising does not just circulate information instead gets into the public's mind with desires and beliefs can you imagine in the tough times ashutosh sharma director and founder at uma multimedia private limited has gifted the world a brilliant solution uma is a 360 degree solution provider in out of home advertising that is o hello and welcome to rabai rashi foundation ashutosh sharma is di- is also director at white olives integrated communication llp ashutosh has an extensive experience of more than 28 years in media and advertising industry aapka bahut bahut swagat hai thanks rashi so to start with ashutosh please tell us about brand ashutosh sharma and what inspired you to begin with brand uma i think i'm get to build uh, a brand in my name uh, but yes uh, i'm trying to build an organization probably uh, that will give me some kind of uh, uh, self image which probably may be translated into brand at a later stage uma was conceived uh, in 2019 uh, before pandemic and it was intended to bring all facets of digital art to home under one umbrella beginning with led hardware contract with retop uh, beginning with the content management system and facial recognition contract with sidecorp then bringing in location uh, data analytics uh, through mapma india and host of other allied services which oma intend to offer in due course and also we tried building up the biggest dos network in india by getting routes to routes to one platform where we intend to monetize their 22000 screens uh, which are already insto- installed inside schools which are already installed inside 20000 schools and through our other company which is omax we are trying to put Uh, media inside retail outlets across pan india we also signed a contract with vmart which is biggest hsm covering oh and dh platform which has a presence of 296 stores across 175 cities and 18 states so we are trying to build networks we are trying to build tech and we have to integrate everything onto one platform which is called home now that's a lot of good work ashutosh ji aap hame white olives ke bare mein thoda aur bataiye so white olives we have created india's largest doh network uh, which is an outcome with a uh, with uh, which is an outcome of an agreement with roots to roots which is an ngo and which impart education to kids from 8 to 18 year old in the schools in the field of music in the field of art in the field of culture in the field of heritage in the field of yoga vedic math whatever you wherein you can inculcate uh, indian values and indian value systems in the in the kids who are who are mandated by government of india to attend at least one class or one discipline out of 15 discipline which are run by roots to roots and this is wonderful So why don't you talk us through the vision and the mission of this brilliant idea that is Uma Multimedia. So Rashi, uh, before pandemic, it was projected that Indian OH business will grow to ten thousand crore by two thousand twenty-seven, and I'm sure despite pandemic, we should be able to achieve those figures. Uh, before pandemic, we were at five percent or less in DOH. Uh, which essentially comes down to around 150 to 200 crore uh, with the advent of new airports which are in the pipeline uh, 
uh, with the advent of uh, regional connectivity, which is giving boost to 100 airports across country. With the pipeline of 100 malls, which are in the progress. Uh, with the permissions coming from government to uh, let outdoor media owners install LED screens on roadside. Okay. And with the advent of smart cities, LED hardware requirement is bound to go up substantially. And when we are putting LED hardware across all these platforms and across all these projects, there will be an urgent need of monetization of those LED screens. And how that monetization will happen through effective advertising, through integration of technology into these screens, through attaching them to one single or multiple networks and through uh, connecting them to different advertisers and brands and corporates and agencies. And that is the complete ecosystem which we want to create over the years and be part of India's success story on DOH. And uh, when I say hardware capabilities, Uma has a contract with uh, Retop who produces all sorts of and all grades of LEDs uh, in-house and we have an exclusive contract from them for India and Middle East. Uh, by this contract, we intend to supply LED hardware to the projects which I just mentioned. After that, all installations will need some kind of content management system that we intend to provide through Interface, which is a partner in Sitecorp. And through Sitecorp, we will provide programmatic DOS capabilities for any screen for online sales of media on different channels like Google, like uh, moving walls, like other other SSPs which are operating in the same space. Through location data, we wish to enable these screens to have some kind of measurement. And this measurement will give them what kind of audience is going to be around these screens, uh, what kind of profile of the audience, and what kind of density of the audience will be around. We also have a partnership with Solistium. Solistium uh, has given us a tech which is about Blue Fox, and we can put this Blue Fox sensor to measure around 94-95% of audience density having smartphones uh, in and around a site. Now, that's a totally new concept that you have introduced into the market, Ashwato Sharmaji. Congratulations for that. Okay, so coming to your next question. What is the niche you are targeting? Actually, as you understand that out of home is all about moving audience. And to capture the attention of moving audience and getting their attention away from the smartphones which they're using right now, you need dynamic advertising. You need some kind of dynamism in the communication which you are dissipating. Okay? You, uh, you put up a billboard and then that billboard becomes a blind spot over a period of three to four days once you know that you're going to see the same image over and over during the course of the campaign. But when you bring DOS to life, you tend to create interest among the audience. You tend to create dynamic imagery and you tend to give them a reason to look at the billboard again. Do the same thing. But it's also important that the message goes across to the audience for whom the message has been created. And that's the key on which OMA is working. We will create the kind of assets. We will create the kind of technology. We will create the kind of location data which will integrate everything into one and serve the advertisement where the audiences are so that we can reduce the spend on the advertising, we can make it more effective and we can live up to the cost for each model in DOH by way of introducing all these measurements into one place. Absolutely great. This is Ashutosh Ji. See, we understand that you've come up with something which is um, very sustainable. Okay, but now the we talk about the smaller businesses, okay? Since with the COVID 
advertising is, has taken a great hit. Okay, it, it has been totally uh, devastating for this industry, especially. Now, the smaller businesses don't understand the culture of advertising. For them, taking out the daily expenses is already a challenge. Now, what OMA has, especially for such businesses, what are you offering? Contradict you on this statement because if you talk of small businesses, they already know how to their business, how to run their business on the digital platforms. So, be it your Facebook, be it your Google, everything is happening on small scale, on very less scale in terms of monetary uh, dispensation, and they are running their businesses very effectively. The idea is to bring those businesses on DOH and offer them cost-effective solutions so that the audience they are targeting is when they are on the move, they are able to come across uh, their communication on bigger screens. And everyone like to see the advertisement or any energy on a bigger screen. So that's the whole idea. And to reduce the cost burden on these small advertisers, uh, we'll be working with media owners to get effective rates for these small media uh, advertisers so that they can have value for money. So we uh, the location data will empower these screens to have the correct audience at the correct point of time to be mapped together and serve the advertisements as per the audience profile. And I totally agree with what you just said. It was in my mind, but I just couldn't say it. Ashutoshji, what do you think the world has changed their outlook towards advertising with this pandemic? And also, how can OMA bring a change in the mindset of people who want to advertise? See, as you rightly said, there is a change in the mindset for mindset of advertisers uh, due to pandemic. One, uh, right now, the market has dried up of funds in many categories. I'm not saying all the categories. There are categories which have flourished during uh, pandemic, but there are many categories which have faced a lot of heat and the money has gone away. So to bring back those categories and those advertisers back on the screens, back on the media, back on the DOH, back on the normal awards, okay, it's a challenge. Because pandemic has also taught them to advertise with very less money. One, on digital. And two, if they came back to OS, the rates were reduced uh, due to the stress in the market, due to media owners getting desperate, due to agencies getting desperate. So this change of habit is definitely going to bring some change in the media industry also. Media industry will be getting up to give better ROI, to give better audience profile, to give better better rates, and also to give better spread, better reach, better frequency uh, based on a brief. So I, I am talking to multiple agencies simultaneously, and uh, this is a feedback that now the advertiser has become more demanding. They want more eyeballs, they want more ROI, they want everything of more at a less money. And as I, as I said uh, in the beginning of the interview, that we are looking at bringing cost-effective solutions based on audience measurement and based on installing these assets and collaborating with media, media owners for their assets, assets to have a very cost-effective uh, ecosystem. Um, this is a brilliant thought that you you know, uh, have your thoughts around the cost, which is a very important factor in today's time. Ashutosh ji, please tell us what is your special message to the advertising world, media owners, and media buyers? Both. Actually, I, I also wanted to add that I'm also working on media representation model in which we are going to media owners and asking them to collaborate with us on the fields or on the agencies or on the brands or on the clients or the corporates where they are not able to focus. So let's say as a media owner, I know these 100 clients very well and I know these 50 government clients very well. So I will tell him that, okay, I will sign a contract with you. I will not go to that, but I'll go to the rest of the universe. Okay. 
so this is a model which we are trying to create we are trying to look into the monetization part where they are not able to look we are trying to look at uh the re revenues from the residual inventory which probably they will never be able to sell okay we will be looking at seasonality where they will not be able to sell and we'll be able to look at territory where they will not be able to sell uh the response has been fantastic i was in gujarat uh, last week and uh, mostly all the media owners like the idea and they repeatedly told me that uh, there is a contract so uh, this kind of model uh, was in my mind since the time i joined outdoor advertising industry in 2013 uh, but uh, due to the limitations on the organization that i was working i could not initiate it but uh, i have come to a conclusion that this is going to be one of the biggest vertical in oma itself and i will be able to have multiple contracts for media representation under oma's uh, umbrella now uh, coming back to the message to the advertisers uh, believe me it's a time to showcase your brand showcase your product showcase your capabilities showcase your categories because there's a best time to bargain and there's a best time to be seen when no one is no one is seen or people are very uh, very pessimistic about advertising so come out see the media yourself and it is inviting you the clutter is very less spend your money and make most of it because crowd on the road crowd in the inside airport crowd in the mall is almost back to normal so make good use of it before the rates go to the previous level with the ever growing out of home ecosystem and brands adopting digitization in all possible forms oma enables a dynamic ecosystem for media owners and buyers mm -hmm.